Look back at the low bar. Look at it. See your feet go by. That was good. Come on. See your feet. Try and touch it. A little faster down. Balance in the handstand, Mish. Come on. Get balanced. Try and balance. Better. Come on. Good. I like how you're planging down. Plans. Purposely plans, because that's what you need to do out of the wilder. Toes up, around your back. Good. Oh, nice, Kyla. Round her, round her faster, round her faster. Come on, good save, good save. Nice, Kyla. Okay, can we get stuck in that handstand on the high bar too? Yeah. And then, and, then, and then take yourself out of your comfort zone, just like the running drills we did over on vaulting. Take yourself out of that comfort zone to, to make the three hip go closer to handstand. Okay, that's all it is, is a comfort zone. And you need to just slowly build up to it, but, but make, make sure you make those changes. Okay. Just don't get stuck in that hamster wheel. Yeah? Good job. Straight down. She comes straight down out of the hands hand. And she another one. And then pirouette. But do you see how she just drops like almost yeah. just, and she really lowers kinda of like how I want you to plunge down out of your hands hands. She really lowers herself down to slow it down so it goes it goes straight up, back up again. Block the bar away. Try and hang on to it too, even though it's gonna be hard to hang on to. Block and hang on to it. Well, real slow, real slow, real slow, and stop it. A little archy. A little bit too much arch here. That's, did you feel like you were way back here too much? Yeah, really far. Yeah, it's because your head was out. Okay. Wow. That popped up really fast. That was nice. Good. That's getting so much better, Kaylee. Come on. Hold on. Hold on to the bar. Hold on to the lap. I think sometimes when you come from a higher cast and you get more of a downward swing, it helps you hang on and go more of an upward swing. I think sometimes when you go short cast, it just throws you long too. Short on this side, short on that side. I think more when it comes from the higher cast and comes down more, it helps you get the feeling of pulling up better too. That's just my observation. When you, when you do real good ones, it's usually from a very high cap. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that was like, that was, that was like Nisha's toe shoots, went a little long. Good. Long pull. Oh, nice. Okay, again, like the one you did on the low bar the first turn. A little bit slow on the way down. How about look for the high bar? Good. Okay, it, it, the, direction, the direction and everything is good. It's just not powerful enough. Same thing we're talking about for vaulting. I, want, I need more speed. Speed is going to be your friend in this sport, okay? Speed it up. Better. Yeah. Well, you're a little light on your feet, so there's not a lot of pull on the bar. Yeah. On, on, when you put your feet on, there's not a lot of pull on your hands. If you give a lot of pull through the bottom there, you're going to get a lot more snap. If you're just light and soft on the bar, you're going to come off a little light and soft. Does that make sense? Yeah. Kaylee, not only are you putting these together better. Good. That was better. Not only are you putting the, all these tricks together, together better, but it looks cleaner. Too slow. Be careful of landing on your hands like that. I don't want a hyperextended elbow.
Yes, come on. Hold, hold the long hang. Hold the hips a little longer on this part, and I'll help you get into your hips better on the, for the cast. Okay, you're doing what I want Misha to do. You're doing what I want Misha to do. You hung on too long. You hung on longer this way, so it went straight up. It needs to up and forward a little bit. Good, down, up. That's a leap to do. 